Thanks for watching UBC. Hope you had a nice weekend. Now let's go through the weather update from Uganda National Meteorological Authority. Most parts of the country had a sunny conditions and then we are seeing a reduction of rainfall according to the report that we received this morning because Gulu reported three, sorry, 5.3 millimeters and then Toro reported 3.4 and Tebe had 1.0 millimeters. And looking at the satellite image over Uganda, it showed that sunny conditions prevailed in most parts of our country. Those some few areas in the highlands of Lake Victoria had showers but then late in the afternoon still sunny intervals prevailed in most parts of our country. Areas around the lake and in the highlands of Lake Victoria had cloudy conditions with the thunder showers. This is because of the high pressure center over the south of Africa that led to the shifting slightly northwards of the rain belt together with the low pressure center over the Indian Ocean that is taking away most of the moist winds that would come towards our country and this has led to the drier conditions that we have had in our country today. Tomorrow we are expecting thunder showers around the lake. In the northern and western part of Uganda we are expecting light showers other parts of the country we are expecting sunny intervals later in the afternoon we are expecting light showers in most parts of uganda with temperatures rising to 31 in kotido in the north we are expecting temperatures to rise to 30 in the east central and western uganda we are expecting temperatures to rise to 29 and then in Capit in our capital city and areas around the lake, we are expecting temperatures to rise to 28. In Kabale Highlands, we are expecting temperatures to rise to 25. If you expect to go to some selected cities in Africa, cities like Lagos, we are expecting thunder showers. And then in Nairobi, we are expecting heavy showers. In Addis Ababa, we are expecting light showers. In Johannesburg, we are expecting sunny intervals with temperatures rising to 19 as the maximum. So it's getting cold in Johannesburg. But then in Cairo, we are expecting temperatures to rise to 31. If you expect to go to Moscow, expect heavy showers. But then in New Delhi, we are expecting light showers with temperatures rising to 41 it's hot in new delhi and then london and new york we're expecting sunny intervals in dubai it's hot temperatures expected to rise to 39 i'm Daphne kabasita for more information about that you can visit our website as it is displayed on your screen have a nice week